News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Picture perfect weather across the Susquehanna Valley today with highs in the lower 80s and we'll have a summery Sunday. A near repeat performance is expected. For the week though ahead, once we get past Sunday, I expect highs to drop back down to the 70s and we'll be dealing with some midweek showers. Outside right now, taking a live look. Over Lancaster, currently temperatures quite mild. We're sitting at 60 degrees and the winds are light and calm. Temperatures are across the area. There is a very large range. On Super Doppler ra radar, no action. You can see just some ground clutter off to the northwest. You pan out, you have to go quite far to see some passing showers. We have moisture right along the Gulf Coast and a cold front well off to our west. It's going to be the moisture sitting out in the Gulf and just off the east coast of Florida. That will be the focal point for some passing showers, but we're going to have to wait some time before it gets here. Here is your News 8 Storm Team forecast. Littits in the background. Overnight tonight, mostly clear, seasonally cool with some patchy fog. And like I talked about, there is going to be a big rain. Thomasville dropping to 50 degrees. A lot of the Susquehanna Valley will be in the mid 50s with a light wind. And that fog is going to be around first thing in the morning for tomorrow. We'll have mostly sunny skies and temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. Then during the afternoon and in Lidditz, there is the Craft Beer Festival for tomorrow. Highs will be in the lower 80s with a light breeze out of the southwest. For the weather and health for tomorrow, the pollen count remains low. Same thing with the mold. And the UV index will be at a 6. Burn time is about 30 minutes. We had a high today in Harrisburg of 80 degrees. The low this morning was 57. No rainfall hit the bucket out in Harrisburg as everything was. Was dry. Currently, it's 56 in Sealands Grove, 59 in, if you're watching us in Carlisle. But notice down in Thomasville, York, down to 50 degrees. Gettysburg, though, still at 61. And you can see across much of the eastern half of the United States, very warm weather. Still 71 in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and 78 in Dallas. Look at these highs across the eastern half of the country. It reached 83 in International Falls, Minnesota. Kansas City was at 81 and 88 in Dallas. And this warm, Weather, this large heat ridge is going to be sticking around for about another 24 hours, and that includes the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. So, high pressure sitting right overhead, and it is going to slowly be working its way toward the coast of New England, allowing that warm air to just sit around. It's that moisture that's locked off to our south that will eventually start to billow up as we head through the day on Monday, and then this incoming cold front from our northwest will help generate just the chance of a few isolated showers as we head into Tuesday. So we stay high and dry for tonight with temperatures anywhere from 50 to 58 degrees. Heading through the day tomorrow, we'll be back up near 80. And then watch the clouds build in late tomorrow. We're talking high-level clouds. The clouds will be billowing up, though, a little bit thicker heading into Monday, but we should stay dry. It's not until that cold front starts to move on in to the Susquehanna Valley on Tuesday when our rain chances really start to go up. So our high today was 80 degrees. I bet we'll be right back up there or even warmer for tomorrow with highs in the lower 80s. We fall to the 50s overnight. Then the clouds start to billow into the region heading into Monday. Chance for a straight shower or two at this time in the forecast for Tuesday and Wednesday. We're going to fine-tune those rain chances over the next couple of days. Average highs for this time of the year are in the lower 70s. We should be at or above that for the week to come.